On 3 January 1961, the U.S. severed diplomatic relations with Cuba by withdrawing formal recognition and closing the U.S. Embassy in Havana. Actions by the new leader of Cuba, Fidel Castro, drove the U.S. to isolate Cuba. Castro took power by overthrowing Fulgencio Batista, who was a corrupt dictator. And after Castro seized power in February 1959, he immediately began seizing land and spreading it amongst the lower classes. But he also nationalized businesses, including privately owned sugar companies. Castro's actions prompted the U.S. to impose sanctions. The U.S. embargo included not selling arms or oil and prohibited buying Cuban sugar. In February 1960, Castro signed an agreement making the Soviet Union its primary trade partner. In March 1960, a weapons freighter exploded in Havana Harbor, killing 75 workers. Castro accused the U.S. of sabotage. Soon after, President Eisenhower authorized a force of Cuban refugees to overthrow Castro in what became the failed Bay of Pigs invasion. In October 1962, the Cuban Missile Crisis cemented the breach.